Hello guys! So Samantha and I, we were at the office and it's lunchtime and we just saw a new uh, soda that opened very close from our place and that's what we're going right now. We're gonna check the new soda. So let's go. A soda is a traditional Costa Rican restaurant. It's usually family owned, open air, a small restaurant and they just have uh, local food and usually they're only open for like breakfast, lunch, sometimes dinner but if you want to try a traditional Costa Rican restaurant and Costa Rican food then you have to go to a soda. We're here at the soda. I'm gonna show you, so in particular, this is the menu here. And this soda, they offer breakfast and lunch. So here they have breakfast, in Spanish is desayunos. So if you ever want to try like the classic Costa Rican breakfast, that would be gallo pinto. So that's gallo pinto and you can add with like eggs and tortillas and meat and all that stuff. Um, Usually sodas are a good choice if you are traveling on a budget because typically it is cheaper than going to a restaurant in downtown or like in the touristic areas. So as you can see like here a breakfast is 2,000 colonas and it has gallo pinto which is rice and beans, eggs, cheese, and sausage and bread. And that's actually really good because that's a little less than four dollars. And then for other options it looks like they also have, um, you know, like snacks and appetizers. And we highly also re we also highly recommend to get like a natural fruit juice drink here. Oh, yeah, and like this one. Yeah, like this one. This is mine, and this is tamarindo actually. You got tamarindo, yes. And you got. I got the lemonade. You got lemonade. So there's le lemon trees all over it. <laughs> so sodas usually have really good fruit juice. Um, I love the, the tamarindo, it's a great option. Cass is another really good Costa Rican fruit if you want to try that one. This is my order. So even though it's lunchtime, you can still get breakfast. I love breakfast. This is my second of the day, by the way. <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> okay, so this is the gallo pinto. That's what Samantha was uh, talking about. In my case, I got uh, shredded meat. I got cheese. I got plantains and everything is served in a corn tortilla, which is a very nice touch. It is a very nice touch. Okay, what you got? Okay, so I got a classic casal. In English, this word translates into married, but in Spanish, it is the name of this dish. So basically what it is, it's made up of always rice and beans, and then you have a meat, so I got some chicken, and then a salad, and they gave like a, carrots and squash yeah, and then I have a picadillo. picadillo and then I have like a normal green salad here and some fried plantains as well so this is a very classic lunch or dinner yeah guys a good tip if you come to a soda always ask for the chilera this is like the housemate mm -hmm. uh, spicy yeah it's super good and I mean, this is our favorite things to do. If you love spicy, then you have to try it. It's like pickled spicy vegetables. Can you explain to people what is this? Okay, so this is like um, what usually they would classify as like fast food or like a snack. So this is like a, it's an empanada. So there's meat in there. And then mm -hmm. in I Costa Rica, they put shredded cabbage on top and then douse it with ketchup and mayonnaise. This is a empanada arreglada. It's delicious. I love it. Just another quick tip. Whenever you see like uh, distribution trucks, you know, like the people who are working all day and you see them like park outside a soda, that means that it's good. So always look for places where you see a lot of cab drivers, bus drivers, 
or big trucks. They're always around, so they know they're good places. We just got our bill. It was around 7,000 colones, approximately around 12 US dollars. Um, this is Costa Rica money, it's very colorful. And yeah, so baby, what was your last thoughts about this place? It was very good. Definitely recommend it if you are uh, have never tried like Costa Rican food or been to a typical restaurant. This is a really good first experience and it's very affordable, especially if you are in Tamarindo and looking for a cheaper option for food. Yeah guys, so I hope you guys have the chance to visit a soda if you come to Costa Rica. It's not like super fancy places, but everything is clean and you will uh, definitely have a very Costa Rican experience. So thank you for watching and see you guys in the next one.